This is PFSense working on an Astro Security Gateway 220, uh, PFSense ver PF version uh, 2.0.1, uh, the 32-bit version. Um, the Gateway appliance has an 80 gig hard drive, 1 gig of RAM, 400 uh, bit, 100 base uh, Ethernet ports, um, active cooling, so on and so forth. Anyway, some good tips if you're trying to set up a similar setup on this type of appliance or this brand of appliance is the uh, boot disk error. If you're trying to install it and you, you get a um, boot disk failure, insert system disk, uh, then all you have to do is go into the BIOS and change the access mode for the disk from auto to LBA, and it will boot successfully uh, into PFSense. Some other good information if you want to get the LCD screen working, um, using the Nets, Nexcom driver, um, uh, on the parallel port, all you need to do is run this command ln-s to set up um, the library that's included in the package uh, to a system link to um, from 5 to 4. Uh, you can find this form online, uh, just Google Nexus LCD issue and you'll find it. And then also solved astro uh, SG320. Uh, if you uh, Google that form, um, it'll tell you the form site, and there's a lot of really inf useful information for that. Uh, yeah, the appliance works really well. Uh, right now, I've only got the first four interfaces configured, but it runs perfectly well. Um, boots up really quickly. Uh, I'm I'm very very happy, especially with getting the LCD screen working. The buttons do not work, but the LCD screen does. So, and you can do all sorts of information on the LCD screen, um, from uptime to load. It's kind of useful just to walk by and see it.